At Walking the Talk, we have two main tools that we use to assess culture. One is a survey and the other one is a focus group methodology. The survey is called CCI, Culture Capability Index, and we use it when the organization wants to have a detailed understanding of what the culture is, but not necessarily why the way it is. The survey, you can use it with a sample of people in the organization, or you can use it with the whole population. You can use it to draw comparisons between different parts of the organization. So demographics are very rich and can tell you a lot about the way it is at the moment. So in particular between leaders and the rest of the employees, between different countries. Our survey is done and managed by us. So you have nothing to do. We send a direct link to employees. We can also use a paper survey if needed. People can answer the survey on their phone or on, on a computer, and we are able to monitor the results as they come in. Our survey is behavioral. It's not an engagement survey. It focuses on 90 behaviors that are being displayed or not in the organization. Those 90 behaviors fall into what we call six cultural archetypes and three core qualities of um, healthy leadership that leads to courage, building courage in leaders. They are responsible, principled, and, and openness. We can provide the results of the survey in, in real time if needed. Now, the other methodology is a focus group methodology. And we use it when you want to understand why your culture is the way it is. So what is it that leads people to behave the way they do? What is the shared belief system that exists in the organization? We call our methodology Discover. This is a great tool. I personally absolutely love it because you get a lot out of it. We use a number of focus groups in the organization and they're not your usual focus groups. They are led by the group. We ask just a few questions and it is based on the premise that what people talk about, what they choose to talk about in those focus groups is what is top of mind, what really matters to them. And this is how you find out whether something is present in the organization or not. We do several groups. We can uh, split them according to uh, the divisions, to the seniority levels in the organization. We record everything that is being said in a very safe way. We transcribe it and we take it through a grid of analysis, once again, of archetypes, behaviors, and core qualities. And we are able to infer and understand what are the different beliefs that exist in the organization. We are also able to find what is what I call the linchpin beliefs in the organization. These are the one, two, or three critical beliefs that drive all the other beliefs. They're very important because they are your target for change. When possible, we like to do, uh, use the two tools with our clients. Uh, use the survey to have a fine description of what the organization looks like in terms of its culture and use the focus group methodology to understand why culture is the way it is. When you combine both tools, you get a very, very rich picture of what your culture is. Now, with this rich picture, what you can do is actually build a great plan for your culture transformation. The more detailed uh, your culture assessment is, the better your culture plan will be.